Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can take screenshots on your iPhone 8 or iPhone 8 Plus, plus a few additional tips and tricks on how you can take full page uh, screenshots and also how you can mark up screenshots as well. So I've just gone ahead and opened up a random article on my browser and you can take screenshots from anywhere on your iPhone. So the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and press the home button and the lock screen button together at the same time. So I'm just gonna do this for just a split second. And when I do that, we now have a screenshot preview that comes to the bottom left hand corner. So I can go ahead and just leave that be and that will automatically save to my camera roll. Or alternatively, I can go ahead and do the same action, home and lock button. And now I have the preview here, so I can go ahead and actually click on this. And once this does open, I now have a few options to go ahead and mark up this. And this is really good if you're looking to send some work over email or you're just collaborating with someone. So in this instance, I can go ahead and write on this particular screen and I can use the different types of pens as well. And I can change the color to whatever I please. And I can do this again. And I can also rule as well if I want to measure or just change a few of the different creative aspects as well. And if I want to go ahead and crop the screenshot, I can just pinch from any corner and I can scroll down there as well. And then if I'm happy with this, I can just go ahead and press done. Or if I want to keep editing, there's a few other options actually in the plus icon here. So I can go ahead and press that. And now we actually have the ability to add text, add a signature, do a magnifying glass and even add some arrows and some comment bubbles as well. So for this one, I can just go ahead and add magnifier and this will just magnify a piece of text if I'm just trying to emphasize that on the particular screenshot. So once I'm happy with these changes, I can just go ahead and press done. And now I have the option to save to files or I can save to photos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press save to photos. And just as a, uh, so if I want to go ahead and see my screenshots, I can just go to the photos. So as you can see guys, we now have the two screenshots that we had just taken. So this was the original and then if I slide over, we now have the edited one that we also did make. So as an extra step, I'll also show you how you can take a full page screenshot of maybe a full length article or maybe just something else that you would like to screenshot. So in this instance, I'm going to go back to this same article and again, I'm going to press the home button and the lock button together. So once I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on this. Now once I'm in here, I just want to go over to full page now once this appears, I actually have the ability for this slider on the right hand side and I can essentially just drag this all the way down to the bottom of the article and while I'm doing that, it will capture that entire screen which I can then go ahead and save. So I'm just gonna go all the way down to the bottom and just drag this. Now this entire screen has now been captured so now I can go ahead and mark this up or alternatively I can go ahead and press done and this will save as a PDF file in the Files app on the iPhone. So I can go ahead and save. And I can select Downloads and I can go ahead and save. And now if I go to the Files app on my iPhone, so now I'm in the Files app, I have full access to this massive screenshot that we had just taken. And now I also have the ability to also mark this up as well with the same tools. And then I can go ahead and send this on email, text message, and any other app on the iPhone device. So there you have it guys, that's an awesome way on how to take screenshots on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So hopefully this quick video has been helpful for you. If you'd like to see any other videos like this, please let me know down in the comment section as I'm really happy to make more videos for all of you out there. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.